Okay, I may have gotten a few mods here. You can tell me if you like them or not, but I wanted to pick them up because I wanted to have some delineations on the actual campaign map to where I can really tell at a glance what is going on. So that's what I did. That's what we have here. Yeah, some of the top mods. There's not really a lot of deep mods out yet for Three Kingdoms. I'm waiting for that. That will take time, I'm very sure. But I'm very much looking forward to it. There are some to make the generals look better. I did get a remaster for all of the units and eight princes just to see a little bit more variety. And if you remember last time, I've been expanding. But let me tell you, just like in any beginning of any Three Kingdoms campaign, there's a lot of back and forth. It's like tugging the rope, pulling the rope. Tug of war? I can't remember. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so <laughs> I've been having to go down south to go handle Function. And then I went up north to go handle the alliance of my brother and other people. And look at who hates me big chunk of people so i'm gonna try to take them out let me go look at my noble support noble support's all right not over here in Hangzhou, but we're gonna see what we can do about that later i can't go over here and take out sima young oh sima young you're in the wrong location kiddo i've already killed a lot of people but we're gonna kill more yeah i've already fought a pretty big battle over there there's not really too much for me to do right now so i'm going to end my turn there we go and we'll see where we can go after that. We would For me, no threat to you. oh my. What do you want? You want two of my items, Mal Ren? How about no, and I'll choice. kill you if you come down here, Mal Ren. No, just like in my Lubu campaign, there might be like a period of time where we have a stalemate, kind of, where I'm beating people back with a freaking stick and I'm like, get off my damn yard. But eventually they'll break. Okay, Sima Lun is no longer fighting Sima Yu. Sima Hong has requested Sima Dan. Join their war and let's keep on looking real quick here's a jade monkey plus eight to cunning very nice to have and many new characters that i want to check out for potential good items it's currently winter let me go look at our good buddy over here luji luji let me go ahead and give you your jade monkey he's like oh thank you okay jade monkey thanks don't know what i want to do with that but i'll take it In all right China's so now name. why don't we go kill not today Shogong. Shot fury. made a bad choice coming to my neighborhood Oh, Chiao Gong, I have murder on the mind for you. Okay, medium casualties, we can't have that. Let's go into battle. We'll destroy his army and kill him, hopefully. Then we'll see what we'll do after that. I could put my trebuchet over in the main unit or retinue of my leader, but I feel pretty content with what I have right now. Trust me, it'll all work out. Everything will be okay. My format might not be optimized in the very beginning. Usually in the beginning things are a little bit more haphazard you've got to just mix it together and hope it works it's not really like baking it's more like cooking but later i become a baker and everything is beautiful but that will take time okay so they're over here waiting for moi let's see what i can do about that i kind of want to get a few units on my flanks yep there we go i've got some archers oh absolutely archer militia got them right here Gonna put them on the front lines just to kind of begin attacking. I've got so many ranged units. They're gonna be in so much trouble. All right, there we are. All of my mounted units, well, I don't want them all together. I'm gonna get my Chong hunters over here on the left and right flanks. Normally I would talk about like history a little bit more, but for this series, we're gonna take it easy, focus on actual gameplay, and we'll see where we go with that. And I'll probably begin my Knights of Origo campaign very soon maybe after this series and another one is completed i'll get back on that i'll have to get my old mods and hopefully get them all to work again if not i'll have to figure it out from there but uh yeah if you haven't seen my knights of orgo series one of my favorite series i've ever done lots of cinematics and i put a lot of heart into it very proud of it okay what we could do we can actually cause them to lose some morale if we get some flaming shots in there if we do that, they're going to be like, oh no, there's fire. I'm a scourge of fire. So here's my army, and here we go. Look at these guys. It might be cold, but I will still keep my fan. I feel like we're seeing my young, who wasn't known for his intellect. A weapon would have been suitable, but hey. Interesting choice to make and make strategies, but it's, it's, it's really working out. He's got a hat for it. He's got the hat for it. All right, let's go ahead some of their friends over here, some of their archers, because I want to kill the hell out of them. Come on. Need you to move a little bit faster. 
They're moving. Scroll, I think not. It's not moving very quickly. Okay, let's charge in real quick. For right now, I'm going to get my archers to go after their archers. Only for a minute, actually, because we're going to come over here and keep on fighting. I'm going to bring in all of my leaders. Let's go fight them all right now. That was a slow reaction time on my end. I'm not sure. Maybe I just woke Oh, wait. I did just wake up. How about that? So I did just wake up. It takes me a minute. We'll call it our warm-up. Good that I'm getting a practice run in. Okay, here comes all of my horsemen, because usually I'm a little bit more receptive and faster. But today, that hasn't been the case. Oh, look at that. They've got their leader. I wonder if I can duel him. I doubt I can. Luigi is taking a lot of damage. Let's just bring him back. I was kind of hoping he would be okay, but that evidently is not the case. Let's move away right now. Okay, so what we can do, we're going to bring in all of these horsemen right over here. We're just going to go right after them. Why are you in skirmish mode? Do not be. And as for the rest of you, let's move. Let's move away from where you're at right now. Yeah, debuff them. Chichol, you'll go through their commander because screw him. That's why. Okay. Now I want to get all of my units to go focus on these few militiamen. I didn't think they would be able to damage me that much, but they did. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. If I get everyone to focus on one group of G Militia, they're going to drop like flies. As they are doing as of this moment. No melee evasion, no armor. And now I'm hurting all of their archers. So sure, you struck a grievous blow in the very beginning, but now it is the time of the surreal. See my surreal. And then I'll get these two to go after her. Meow, Chenfeng. And as they flee, we'll just shoot at them a little bit. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You wait here. Go after that commander. You two will go after her and kill her. My range units will continue to attack. I'm going to get, let's see, some of these arch militiamen in the middle. Go after the G militia there. And on the right flank, I think we're largely all right. There's like one group left. Nope, you're still attacking. Go ahead and get your melee evasion up. I've got a lot of buffs and debuffs. That's really where my advantages come in, I think, is all my buffs and debuffs where I can just consistently and constantly keep these guys down. They don't really have much of a chance to get away. All right, so we took out that group. Let's come over here now. We'll come after this group over here. The They'll probably break soon enough. We took out one enemy match. leader. There's another one over here that I want to take out. Let's go kill him. Oh, he's mad. Oh, did I kill your family member? Oh, tragic. Tragic, I say. Debuff. Water does come overcome all. I'm a, sh I'm a bathing man. I like to go in the ocean. I like to swim in a pool. I like to just float around. So I can agree with that. If I could have any choice, that would probably be on my route. All right, all right. Let's go after this group. It's 110 for G Militia. Move these two away. They're not really meant to fight. Okay, we got them. Let's go now, all of us. So I need all three of you now to go chase after Chao Gong. Let's fast forward a little bit. Battles are still a little bit quicker, but again, that just kind of happens in the early game whenever, you know, there's just not as much morale buffing going on and other things like that. I think my role in um, the main game, whenever I do that again, whenever there's like the some like remaster out or something, no I'll probably match. avoid killing any type of leader because until what, what I really thought would, would be done, and you could tell me in the comments down below what you probably would have liked. What I would have liked personally was to see chapter packs based around iconic campaigns and time periods over in the main game. Especially because we certainly do need more characters in the late game because the Three Kingdoms period is quite long. I would even not mind a beginning to Yellow Turban Rebellion where you get the actual iconic leaders in the very beginning. That would have been cool. Because I mean, at the beginning of the campaign, because they focus on Dong Zhuo, you get really the tail end of the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but I per I think it should have been Yellow Turban Rebellion first, then later Dong Zhuo. Then you could have done other campaigns that were based around the actual Three Kingdoms period if you wanted to. And I think that would have been very, very cool. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm just one of you, one of these players here. Oh my. Now he's mad at me. Oh, my brother's mad at me. But older brother. You want to take my toys? I'll fucking kills you. That's how we talk here. 
in our land. That's why they keep trying to kill us. They're like, you talk funny. You fucking weirdo. All right. Anyway, Chengdu. It's over here. I'm going to... Uh, food production. Farming. Well, I need a farm, man. Need a better farm than what I have here. Yeah, I've got a pretty good farm. I think I do. I do need to get Hang Zhong up to a higher level because we need a bigger garrison than what we have right now. That's five turns total or there's all my money. That's okay. Let me go look at diplomacy real quick. I bet he wants peace. Oh, interesting. Look who wants peace. Speak quickly. Hold on here. Yeah. Before we do that. Oh, you don't want to not... Okay, because you don't want to break the damn treaty. Yeah, fucking... Anyway, I'm just a little bit salty at him. He's a chode. All right. He doesn't have a lot of money, which is hilarious to me. He's broke as hell. He's got, like, one crappy province. And he's like, yeah, I could have taken you on. You're a fucking Moran. Okay, oop, oop. Let me do that. Maybe I'm the Moran for doing that. All right, let's see. Nope, 150, 155. Okay. We 10 turns, 155. This. Bye. Okay, then we have another enemy. You. Gong, will I be coming after you just yet? I don't really know. I couldn't tell you. Most factions are like maybe with me, even though I'm trustworthy. I'm a cool g I have food, you idiots. I could have joined Sima Leong and called it a day. No, I'm, I'm not doing that. But we have one enemy just kind of defeated here. I could try to charge through, but I don't really want to do that. I could instead say, no, go conquer over here. If he declares war on me, come after him after that. The issue is that my brother is right by Hong Zhong and Bashi. My pronunciation is a little bit rusty and it was never good to begin with, but I'm doing my best here. All right, so let's um, let's go look over here. Money goes down a little bit. People are much happier though. That was my goal. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I don't want to make. I don't want to initiate every choice. Let's find out what they want to do. Okay, it's back to my turn again. See, my land is completely wiped out. Okay, Sima Yao is inviting Sima Yan into the coalition. Sima Yan. Right, you're not fighting me. That's all I know. Miao Chenfong. Okay. Oh my god. All the regencies here. Amazing. Okay, a remarkable talent too. The scholar with a remarkable memory returns to you, offering another tough in the three kingdoms again for a healthy stipend. Let me see. A lot of experience for Sima Ying. Turn him away. That's more wealth. I kind of want to go for I've got a lot for my mind. We're going to do that. Give him more experience. And we're going to keep on going down this route because I'm getting more ammunition. Dude, my ranged abilities are bar none. We're all about shooting people in the face. It's pretty fucking sweet. Okay, my replenishment is not great. I really need to go get Lu Yun over here. Let's do that. We'll get a lot more replenishment. I'll be able to recuperate quickly. I could quickly go over to Shenyang, sack it, take some money, then leave. His capital is directly to the east of me. If I can get these other enemies to go away for now. Wait, hold on. Let me have a look. Ownership, attitude. Here we go. Oh, that's Jin Empire. Okay. So if I wanted to move up, I would need to go to Wudu. Ever onwards, always forward. I want that Silk Trader so badly. I can't even begin to tell you. Okay, so we do have Luji, who's got a decent army. Tide, I don't want him to die. Together, but I do need someone to go help me hold there for a time. I'm really interested to see how this campaign works out. I will say, though, having, like, a new time period is interesting. I was just, like, stating what I wanted. Examine what would have been... Hello? I'll acknowledge it. A pity. What? No matter. Man, I never get to do nothing. I'm in a coalition because everyone's fighting me down here, so I kind of have to try to ally the Jin Empire for now. That may change in the future. Everyone's getting a freaking coalition. I'll probably be fighting a lot of people. I'm just going to just go through these real fast. Okay. An opportunity arises. You are known for your pragmatism no matter the odds. And it is in the spirit that one of your... Or in this spirit that one of your household comes forward. Ooh. Correspondence with Sima Leong. Turn them over. Satisfaction. Keep their secret. I will keep their secret. Because again, we're going for mind alignment. Now I'm at 68 out of 100. Oh, hold on. I keep on going though. Oh, the max level of this alignment has no negative effects. Intellect is becoming your sharpest weapon, earning the respect and service of many learned men. Advancing. Yeah, see, now I have a lot more replenishment. I'll have to go fight her and kill her. 
take her crap. Maybe even get a peace treaty afterwards. Who's over here? Jin Empire, GME. They have, my God, they've got a lot of warriors. Holy crap. Pearl dragons already? Uh, yeah. I don't want to fight them. Let's go after this over here. Yeah. Okay, accommodation only for spies. I'm running out of reforms to pick up. That's how many turns have passed. That's pretty wild to me, but but travel's very slow. That's just what happens. You kind of have to go through those turns quickly, even if you don't really want to. Okay, I don't really have anyone else. I do have her. She's new. Let me go look at what other new I had meant to, and I for and I forgot to. But now we can go look. Okay, you're a peacekeeper. You're a commander. Who do we have over here? John C. We've got some commanders. Uh, he's 47. He's a bandit. Sima Shuang. Our bad family member, I guess. I don't know. They're all just much older than I would like. I do want someone who has instinct. I still need to get married. I don't know who I'm going to marry yet. I haven't decided. I still need more money for it, so I can't even do that right now. <laughs> I say. Okay. Sima Chang. Even though... We should be friendly. There's a lot here where we should be friendly. Nemesis. Yeah, so much Chong is uh, an enemy of ours. My power has grown. They will pay me a lot if I do that. How about I don't do that? Well, it depends. Where's he at? I don't even know where this guy's at. That's a lot of money. Where the hell is he? Do we see him anywhere close by? I don't think I do. Let me go look down here. Jian. Okay, so we're, so we're looking for a Jian. I don't see a Sima Jian on the... Wait, wait, wait. Here, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Is he, like, down here? He actually likes me. That's pretty messed up. Don't know if I want to do that. He actually likes me. So be it. He's probably not gonna like that. Even though that money would have been intensely helpful. Yeah, I'm gonna take the support of the court for now. I'll break it off later. I'll withdraw from the coalition when the time is right. See my song is gone. See my Yue. Let's see. He's doing his own thing. Li Jian is trying to peace treaty with Sima Chi. There's just so much that's happening each turn. It's a wild scenario. All right. Bashi is over here. I don't have more units yet, which is probably a big regret of mine to not have more units yet. Because of all the enemies that are by me. But again, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting some defenses in. Something in. All right, here's Chengdu. That would give me some pretty big... Yeah, that's a pretty big garrison. I'm going to take that right away. That just seems intensely important. Yingman. 50 years old. All of you are so old. Respect is okay, earned. if I go in and fight you... You're rank 2. You're rank... I don't know. Rank 3. Yelchi. Let's go in now to Wudu. Crash upon them. I'm gonna fight him at night. Can't demand surrender. I mean, I can. It won't work out, of course. I would need to like starve him out, beat him up a little bit. But they've got a pretty big garrison. Let's go use my flaming arrows and other things to go beat them. We'll go take her out right now. I could we wage great power. Okay, we Our have points now. Shall soon see. Together, brother, we will unify China. I feel like I wouldn't want any Oath Brothers during this time period. It's like, dude, I've got enough family. And they're annoying. Do not lecture me on war. Draw your swords. Okay. Let's go look at where we want to hit the hardest. I always believe in striking hard in a few locations. Over here is where there's like a big area where we could go in. There would be some issues, but... I can already see the battle unfolding before my... <laughs> That's very dramatic. <laughs> anyway, no. Um, I believe over here would be fine. But let's go back to being dramatic. I can already see the battle unfolding before my very eyes. <laughs> That's 
how I uh, talk about my fights now. <laughs> okay, my friend. It is time. Our men have been discovered. Guys, we get to destroy towers. Ah, ah, ah. I'm the count. The count tactician. I count how many people I kill. Oh, look at that. Fire damage. Perfect. Perfect hit. Over here, are we going to have another perfect hit? Let's find out. Okay, we're looking at 39. We're looking at 30. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Now, let's go after... Generally, I could easily destroy their range units. It's probably going to be their infantry that causes some manner of consternation for me. So now that we've taken out their towers, how much weaker are they? Incredibly weaker. So what we can do, we can even slightly move up. They might even move away. Let them do so. It's their volition, their wishes, their desire to move away from Ma. You'll be group two. Let's move up a little bit. I want you to attack. I want my crossbows to actually go after their ranged units. I, shall revel in your destruction. I think that's what I want your the most right now. As you are. I don't want any flaming arrows. I just want them to go in a little bit. No flaming arrows. Just shoot their ranged units. Let's have a ranged war. Because who's going to win that war? Who has built for this type of war? It's It's me. The, the spoiler is me. I have built for this war. So that's what we're going to do. I think it's proper. I think it's appropriate. We could actually break some of these walls too if we want to move in a few other locations. So that's how we're going to do it. All right, if they're moving, let's go hit this group of large militia. I want you two to go hit this group as well. We could focus fire and really just destroy whatever we want. Look at that. So now we've got a battle where there's a ranged exchange. And I'm clearly much more developed for that. It's actually a really cool shot. Constant projectiles raining upon them. He's taking a little quick nap. I don't know what's up with that. Let's see how many have already died. Right on the steps, too. Right on the steps. That's pretty cool. All right, they've broken. Let's go after this group now. They might reform, sure, but let's focus on what is around. So these guys are still alive. I'm going to get two of you to come over here. I'm going to get two of you to attack over here. Come on. Just broke a part of their wall. Do better. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. Ready. All right. So I can turn off. Is there an option to turn off the bands? Because the bands need some variety. I want to voice the bands. I would be like, fuck you. But that might not be appropriate. Anyway, no, that would be funny if people figured out how to mod that. We could add in our own lines. Could you imagine the stupid memes that would be put in? Oh, it would be glorious. Look, the enemy run. Look at how long we've been using our... Okay, I'm going to let you know. It's going to be like when I played Third Age Total War years back when I played the High Elves. It's just going to be ranged attacks for days. That was such an enjoyable thing. Let's hope one day CA does get the license. If they got that, they would have like every major fantasy IP. Game of Thrones would be um, definitely the other one that would interest so many people. All right, so I want my crossbows to actually go hunt. Wait, wait are you guys not out yet? Oh my God, you're terrifying. They, they've already killed a lot. Let's go after these archers. Oh, how witty. Holy how shit, dude. Just look at how many we've killed with only my archers. These guys are just like, okay, I guess I'll guard here. I didn't forget to turn off the projectiles. They're pretty bad looking, but damn. Having crossbows is going to be frightening. I'm actually excited to see what I can do with this much cunning. I haven't played a cunning leader yet so having one is actually going to be pretty interesting we're going to move up a little bit all right trebuchet we're going to have you attack over here it's like a big plethora of units and we're just going to go for them oh my god this is so fucking sweet dude just being able to annihilate them without having to really bat an eye eh, okay let's just let's kill a few people 
out of range doesn't want to duel all oh. baby doesn't want to duel go kill these g militiamen all of us every range unit i have is just about to paint these guys they're like do we really have to stand guard here is that really what we need to be doing and i said yeah i'm gonna go charge after her and do so okay what we'll do now we're gonna move over here all of you will move right over here my trebuchet is going to continue attacking what they have over here. And we're going to go into combat now. She doesn't want to duel. Oh, she actually charging out. Oh, daring lady. Doesn't want to duel, but wants to kill some little archers. You're a rude lady. And I will have your head. Here come some units. Let's go annihilate these few archers who remain how dare you challenge me fools that's what happens when i become a god of war just call me guan surreal guan you surreal surreal you <laughs> all right let me kill this person i'm tired of her face i've killed 438 with my trebuchet i've already annihilated all of them I've got one group that's out of arrows that's all fine and dandy I'll get my militia to actually target these key militiamen. I'll get my crossbows to go target someone over here. I haven't decided who yet. All right, they're broken now. Go target these saber militia. All three of them are going to gang up on Lady. Look at these saber militiamen. They're like, ah, oh, fuck. Let's just leave. I've never had such a range dominated battle. Usually I run out here. It's like, eh. You know what? Today, I don't feel like running out. I think today I'm going to stay here. I'm gonna stay here and shit on people. That'll be like the letter that Sima Young sends out. He's like, I'm Sima Young. I'm coming to shit on your chest. What we do here in Chengdu. Oh boy. Let's go. Got her. She's gone. Okay, what? Not that it really matters, but just in case we... No, they'll all be eradicated, but still. But still, I say. Come over here. I've got my Chiang Hunters that I want to bring in. I actually got some of you to use some range attacks, so I'm going to give that a go. Oh, they do have some stuff left. Let's try to go hit the bigger group of G Militia, and we'll go after their next commander. He's right over here. We'll see. We'll see. Would you like to... uh? Die today. Yeah. He would. You will fail. Ready. Okay. Check out all the bodies here as they just charge into battle. Oh. You're done, kid. I'm gonna go help out by debuffing him. No, don't interrupt, but he's, he's like, here, have some water. He's like, oh shit, my eyes! Haha, <laughs> pee water. Very effective. So, we know he's gonna win. And I've already eradicated most of them. So, what we can do now, what we can do. Move over here real quick. Mostly done. Use some flaming arrows if we want. I can get the nerds to go fight other nerds. That'd be an idea, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna go bring in my Dust Sword Guards. Let's bring them in. He's already wiping the floor with this dude, so. Oh yeah, we're in we're in range. So this dude's just dealing with no melee evasion. His melee toughness is quite limited. So I don't know what he's he's gonna do now. He's about to die. That's what he's gonna do. So finally we can watch the finishing array of a duel. Come on. I believe in you. They are nearly there. Oh. Man, that just really makes duels so much better when they actually get beheaded. It's fucking amazing. All right, so we've we've won the battle now. It's all over. We shot up every single one of them. 
And I'm going to be real, real with you. I'm okay with doing that. In fact, all I want is just deadlier ranged attacks so I can kill them even faster. So that means crossbows will be my theme. Archers are great. They're all right, but I'm a, mm -hmm, I'm a crossbow guy. I believe in technology. So crossbows for me. Careful planning ensured victory. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go for Occupy. Suits our plans. I keep killing the regents. They're just like, running out of regents now. I've killed three of them in battle. Yeah. None of you have leveled up yet, surprisingly. I feel like you're getting there, though. I feel like you deserve a new position. Is that it? Yeah, you want a higher court position. I don't have one for you yet. I always want more court positions than what they give you. I think there's a mod for that. Give you more ministerial roles, which is very cool. All right, so we managed to win that. We now have that location. I really would love to go get some more lands up north while trying to hold out to the east, which means I will need another army, which means that I do need other people to come fight for me. I suppose I will take her lack of purpose. Well, Troops. here you go. I give you purpose. Let me just see if I have anything for you. That is resolved. Her satisfaction goes up. I'll probably have to promote her. Well, she's a chief inspector. Holy shit. She's spiteful. Oh, God. She's not a faction leader, but it does give her scare. Stalwart and composed. Okay. I think I would rather hire someone else later. I think I will, but for now, let's keep her there. I just don't want to be betrayed by someone who's incredibly unhappy. All right. Spying is not a thing yet. I need spy slots before I can do that. We are still trying to replenish. I need to move my assignment over up there, actually, into Wudu. I probably should have done that, but it's all good. Instead, I could have had my mustering. Oh, what's up? Coalition in hostilities. That's really funny. Simo Young. Okay. Well. How about... Let me see real quick. Jin Empire would like me a lot more. Suo Young Min would like me more. This should meet your favor. No, it doesn't. Crap. I'm going to have to leave that now. He's just drawing me into war because he's all over the map, but at least he's not fighting Tolerance me, too. Tolerance is the best we can offer. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You're very weak now, by the way. So I'm going to invest in my defenses over at Hanjong. They don't need to be amazing. They just need to hold off. Direct. Ooh, look at that. That's for her. She's got a lot of very violent traits. She almost feels like a warrior. Insubordination for who? Shi Chou? Really? Are you serious, dude? 20 turns? Fuck. What an awfully... I mean, I'm thankful he's mostly loyal because of that, but... Man, these random events have gotten worse. I don't remember that. I've never gotten that one. That's a that's a new one. I don't think I like it. Okay, so we'll be there. In one more turn. Right? Yeah, just one more turn, and we'll be there. At Silk Trader. I really want to hire someone else, though. I have the money for it, so let's go look at who I want to hire. I guess I will have to hire someone very good. Okay, he is... Pong is rank 4. She's rank 4. So, like, there are high-level people here. So, a tour. He's the only legendary. Yeah, I think I'm going to hire Pong. Let me go look at his traits before I do that. Let's see... Kind, gracious, and on. Oh, what the fuck? Hire him right away. He's a good guy. What a decent fellow. Better than her, anyway. Oh, you don't get along with who? Oh, her? Okay, well, that's understandable. That's understandable. All right, I'm just going to give you... Let me change it up. I want to take away that from you and give it to him. Got some armor for you, by the way. More resolve. You lose expertise. You gain a lot of... You become bulkier, essentially. Don't really have a weapon for you, but I'd rather you use the G. Yeah, I don't really have too much for you, friend. She's at 32. I might even get rid of her, unless she's, like, married to someone. Even then, eh. Not too keen on keeping her. Luigi doesn't really have a lot of friends to work with while he's here. He's like, shit, dude. These guys are all... 
nonsense. Yeah, you're weakened. You're weakened. I've got so many weakened foes. See my way is now only equal to me. I do have more units, so that does help out. I'm still trustworthy. That's who I am. The barbarians. You're not even fighting. I'm not a barbarian. Look at my hat. It's not a barbarian hat. Okay. It's in a turn now because we're about to go take out that location. We'll go after Jinjin. Oh, look who went to peace treaty. That's fucking great, actually. So no oh, my God. You idiot. I mean, yeah. Because now I get to go take horse. Horse. Horse pastures and also silk trader. Then I can go somewhere else. Unless that was his vassal, then we can't. But I can still take Wudu without incident. Yeah, okay. Laba Festival. Good omen. Plus 10 to noble support for five turns. It is the day of the Laba Festival, as is the tradition. You gather your officers together and tell the chefs to prepare the traditional Laba Kanji. A simple dish while traveling the roads, but the mix of rice, beans, and dried fruits lifts the spirits. Hey, I'll try that out. Anyway, go to Wudu. And we took we it all. It them. Let us make use of it. More faction support for me. He leveled up. Okay, I'm going to give you that's expertise. Immune to fear and terror. That's really good, too. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. Central army protector. My god. No kidding. Occupation. We gained a kindred Jian. Great for a warrior. He's not about evading attacks. Yeah, she's looking pretty rough. Okay, now I have a Silk Trader. My income's going to go up. I also have my Copper Mine. These are all things that are not really cheap to expand on. Look at all the lands I own now. I really want this land over here. Let me go look at it and see what I can do. Oh, okay, we do still have the war. Good, good, good. So I can go take out these two, and it'll be okay. All right, well, while we do that, I'm going to bring out these three. Stand ready. All right, what's your name again? Your name is Gu. All right, let's go see if you're actually married to anyone. Are you married to anyone that I need to know about? Not really, are you? No? Oh, see my eye. I still need to get married. I have another kid. Excuse me? What? Where did he come from? Who am I banging? I wasn't aware that I was. No one told me. All right. Let's go sort by income. Well, actually, hold on. If we have that much happiness going on due to the Labda, if I do that, a little bit more money, and I can use it to spend on more things. Okay, so we have Hanjong. Who, let's see here. What do we have? we got a silk trader. So silk trading, it's all about the industry. Research rate would go up. Not that I need that. Wish I did need that. I guess what I could do, I can go look at building browser. Okay, let's see. Noble support, income from all sources. Over here would be research rate, income from all sources. That's commandery wide. It's actually really good. Confucian shrine, much better than it was before, I think. We have state workshops already. If I build this, that would be noble support going down, but more money from commerce. I want that silk trader for sure. I could get labor to come over here. That's from industry. Hmm. That's for silk resources. Over here is a marketplace. Again, noble support goes down. That's a school for experience. All right, why don't we go to the Confucian Shrine? Relatively cheap. Okay, we can build things that can encourage the growth of our prominent sectors that we own currently. We're just gonna have to start spending a lot of money in order to make a little bit more money, but uh, see my way. Let's see, let's go look at what he's doing. Oh, he's conquered a lot. Unknown. Yeah, he owns a lot. Jin Empire is over here, right? No, that's Jin Empire. Let's see, who are you? All right, that's my enemy. The Jin Empire is all up there. I guess he's winning. GME is coming to fight him, though. He's going to take some land, like Onding. Uh, 
I don't know where she's going to move to. But his war was too involved, I think, for him to be able to come after me in the way that he wanted to. All right. More tech completed. The Empress demands supplies. Jesus. Okay. Small food donation plus five to mind alignment in favor. That gives me more relations with them. I lose two food. Spirit alignment goes up. I'm going to take that. Now I'm in favor. They like me more. And we get more income from all sources. My power increases as a prince. I'm a worthy power. Look at that. I've grown. I was a minor prince. Now I'm a prince. Not quite a grand prince. Oh, he's been completely wiped out. Nice. Only have 1.9 million people. Characters? Oh, right, right, right. Enables character-wide faction effects in all ministerial positions, which is amazing, actually. People of merit. Too much G. Let's go look. You. Okay, so you fought for them. Generic wood. Oh, okay. Scarred, kind-hearted. Not a lot of legendaries coming our way, huh? Not really, no. Pong is finally there, kind of. I don't really care for her. I'm probably going to take her stuff and release her from... She's way too unhappy. Okay, let's see. We got Luigi, a chancellor. If I give him that role. Morale goes down. Oh, God, no. Luigi, why? Until rank 4, corruption goes down for your commandery. If I actually want to lose 8 morale, are you mad? Over here, plus 3 to satisfaction... Plus five the morale. Retinue upkeep goes down by five percent. Okay. Part of my faction council. He's been a great fighter, so we're gonna let him take that position. Luigi, I guess I'm gonna just put you here, or I could put homeboy over here too. Let's see. Noble support goes up. Poor Lu Yuri. He's like, dude, why don't you use me? I haven't done nothing. I mean, let's see, you're ranked two, you're 26, I could marry you if I wanted to. You're very angry, kind of a scary person. Oh. Deploy administrator, let's go put it in my capital of Bashi. Well, no, that, that would be Chengdu, but it's contested, so we'll put him in Bashi. There we go. Look at my money and how it's gone up. Now we can just kind of get some missions, info council. Okay, so they want me to build something from the settlement administration. More satisfaction, support from artisans. We'll get more money and satisfaction from sentinels for a period of time. Just good to have those up. Just as a general rule. Thumb. Thumb rule. Alright, so we've stabilized our campaign in ways that I never thought we could. Let's go finish her off. Before we do anything else, I just want to make sure that she's gone. Oh, yeah, she's uh, definitely gone. Okay. Now we can begin to move. Do we really need to worry about replenishment? Not right now. Let's just try to move over here as quickly as we can. We'll go get to horse. I keep saying horse. What the hell? Horse pastures. And then we're going to come over here and make sure that we're guarding Voodoo Silk Trader. If they come back, we'll just run back again. Another enemy killed in battle. Oh, cool, cool. I finally unlocked some new stuff. Okay, let's have a look at what would be fantastic for me. Mustard turns goes down by two. I like that re that replenishment, so we're going to grab that first. That's only five turns. So we'll do that. Battlefield medicine, very important. And I have all this money. All this money to do what I will. So over here would be more food. That's in just straight up industry money. That's more industry. Like anything I get here should be industry. I've got some peasantry income. Minor corruption, thankfully, so far. I'm going to destroy that real quick. Because I think I want... Did I not get in? Oh, shit. A small city. Okay. So I'm just going to upgrade to a small city so that we can, we can actually build on that. Alright. Public order is still fine for now. Let's end our turn. Alright, what's up? Non-aggression. See, my eye wants to sign that with me. Eavesdropper and artisan. 
I don't think I want to do that. Jin Empire likes me a lot. That actually will make my life easier as they're doing their own thing. I do see Simo Wei now. So if we stayed up here, we would have to fight him, which means if I had another army, I could go take his capital potentially from behind if I defend it up north. All right, so Simo Yue is still alive. Control the capital. That's a new mission that they... What? Excuse me? I'm not that close yet. You can see what's happening on the map. Jin Empire, again, still alive. Plenty of factions. What about attitude? Attitude is rough for a few areas like Sima Hong because of the coalition war, but we'll see. I'll keep on checking my court. Let's go over here now and take out you know who. Sima Shing. All right. You don't really have enough for me to want to fight you. Command surrender, won't do it. Elect a coherent strategy. Success that is true. Was inevitable. No, I just wanted to get to a point where we finally destroyed them, and we did. So, erodes. goodbye. A pacifist. I don't see that trait is illogical. I've been fighting wars. Is it like the idea that he saw so much war where he's like, oh yeah, maybe I don't want to do that. Impossible. Maybe so. I don't really know. I'll probably have the reinforcing army come join me now. One sentinel, two strategists. Okay. We have now 4,000. Let me go, let's see. Did anyone rank up? No. Do we need to heal up? Absolutely. Okay, so if we're gonna heal up, Your arrival is welcome, I certainly friend. wanna get you over here the following turn. So a lot of you are just gonna chill out here and build up your numbers. Probably gonna get rid of her, as I said before. I hope all is well. Not that well for you. Hey, all right. Somehow, we're kind of keeping the peace, somewhat, in some ways. Didn't think I'd be working with the Jin Empire. That kind of came out of the blue. We now own parts of Jin Qing. I want more of it, of course, but I won't be able to take any of it. Not right now. I gotta wait for another faction to potentially fight them. Like Sima Wei. Sima Wei, he's over here. What level is he? Rank five? Holy shit, dude. Look at this weapon. Some of these look familiar. Huh. This will not happen. Zongyi, I don't think you gotta. Yeah, you're with the Jin Empire, okay. Wait, did you take Onding? He took the grassland. I don't see the big army they had, led by GME. He's not dead, is he? No, he's not dead. Let's see my way again. I must That's Jin Empire. So Jin Empire has a lot of stuff up here to fight see my way. Lots of bloodshed. Okay. Let's go over to diplomacy. I can actually use spies now if I wanted to as well. A trade agreement with him. We have much to discuss. What's your hang up? You want some money? Well, I want some trade money. I think that'll work out because now I'm, I'm making 2700, 1.3k for trade. So if I even have that for just a little while, that'll work out for me. Mount Ren is down here somewhere. I'm a little bit ambivalent to some of these people, so I'm going to leave it alone. I am going to go take this area to try to finish up Hanjong. Is that all of Hanjong? I think that's all of Hanjong, even though it's like completely divided. So in terms of administration, that's going to be annoying. Chang'an would be great to have. Getting the Jade Mine. I mean, I want to control all of this, all of these Silk Roads. So having like all of this to the west would be ideal. I'll have to figure out how, what I'm going to do about that. I would like to send a spy out. Let's see. You hate Sima Yue. You hate Sima Jiong. Okay, so we're looking at characters kind of been fucked over by other Simas. Again, he's the only legendary. He's ranked 2. 38, Median. You got a decent robe. You got a horse and some armor, Sima G. Always take your armor and just get rid of you. Let me go look at it real quick. Oh, that shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. A little bit better. Actually, you know what? We're going to hire you. I'm going to go take your shit. Give me your horse. You don't deserve it. Yeah, take that. Take that. And then, because I don't have room for you, I'm going to get rid of you. Bye. I oh, know. Very cruel. Very wrong of me. 
Okay, so we'll come over here. We give it the bung. Okay, that would be for resolve. That'll have to wait a turn. Okay, that'll have to wait a turn. I want a different weapon for him, too. So that might have to wait a minute. I don't see anything worthwhile. He's rank four. Uh-huh. So if anyone he would be more worthwhile. Let me go look at his traits. Maybe he's got like some crazy traits. Tenacity is still from the very beginning. Fury, artful, trustworthy. I think I want to swap those two out. I'm gonna hire even though he's only ring two, I think I'm gonna hire him. Okay. There goes a lot of my money. I spent two thousand on that. I spent some money on trade. Bing is next. We're going up to Bing. I, I can even get rid of my other army, but I kind of want to keep it as it is right now. I guess I should. In friendship if I vote success. against them, they just get more mad. I don't have a choice right now. We don't have like a deciding coalition to help out with that. So I think they're just going to involve me in like most wars, but we'll see how that plays out. All right. So let's begin to move. We can move. Do not. Yeah. Don't, don't march. Just move Almost. down here. I kind of want to get rid of one of my strategists, even though it's working out. I don't. I haven't really decided yet. I'm gonna think about it and Do see. What cannot be done. Ooh, 57. Why are you so old? All these people are so old. I try to hire like relatively young people just so that, you know, they're not gonna die tomorrow. I didn't really give you too much. I'm gonna release you. All right, that keeps me with a very limited assortment of characters. For now, I'm being very mindful of who I hire. Okay. Don't have much for you, nor are you. I have no commanders. I do want a commander one day, but... Expertise? Oh, right. I gave you one for resolve. I also keep your satisfaction up. I'll just give you one of these for now instead. That's for... Yeah, I want your... Exp well, I could give you more instinct if you want to deal more damage. He's my central army protector. All right, keep your robe. All right, Fung, I'm going to give you that new armor. Enjoy. I don't have a new weapon for you, but I do have a mount for you. That'll help counterman some of your losses. Yeah. Okay. Seems to be a pretty good guy. He's a village chief. My lord. Chieftain came to join me. All right, that'll do it. Let's get rid of all this stuff over here. How's my public order? It's doing mostly okay. There's one that has one minus one. That's okay. We do. Let's go work on getting that Silk Road market. That's just a substantial amount of money and other things too. Let me go look at what I can get out of you real quick. Construction cost goes down, building upkeep, trade influence, faction wide. We'll take that for now. We'll use them for that role because I don't really need someone else to come do stuff for me. So now we can try to go take out Bing. So it's crazy how in our previous episode we had a back and forth. Now we're at a point where... All right, I'm going to have to leave you. I, I've got, I've got to leave. Even though you're the strongest, you're kind of getting on my nerves now. We am going to leave. That's a lot of money. So be it. Don't make me fight him. You're just making everyone pissed at me when they don't have to be. I could go fight the Jin Empire, but see my way again. Really stop that. Brothers in arms. Okay, so these two are now good. They're both closer. Luigi and him. I have an iron archer for more expertise. I'm still making 3200 a turn. Incredibly good. Conserve spirit. Attack! Let's go through that silk trader now. Okay, they have 4,300. I think this might actually be a good battle to begin our next part with. We can go take out Bing. Can't really demand surrender. I mean, I can always try for fun. But they usually have to be pretty beat up for that, so... I think when we're back, we're going to do that. Let's go to get everything else done before we do anything else, of course. We want to try to make more money. So, Chengdu, I'm going to upgrade you. I want to eventually come down south and like begin to con to consolidate what's down here 
and let me know if you think I should finally leave the coalition with Jin Empire even though they're still like a dominant force I don't know how long that that would be for Sima Wei is actually stronger than me now that's unnerving but I could quit this excellent talk receive marriage way too old trade territory there are lands that I want Yeah, there are some locations that I want. So that would be Jin Ching for sure. Untradeable. That would be the only one that I can really work on. Okay, let's see here. Trade ancillaries. They actually would want that. That's really interesting. I could get them to join me in wars. See, my big thing is, too, is that they would be my one friend to help me out with fighting Simo Bay. But they're also drawing me into other wars, too. Any wars against your coalition will become individual wars. It'll be minus 20, so they wouldn't even hate me, absolutely. So they would at least leave me alone for a time, I think. Even though they really, really like me. That would still change over time. Being once a peace treaty. Never a shock to me. Alright. Let me go look at some factions real quick. Sima Leong. So we may talk. I just want to go talk to some people, see if there's like any Let marriages that I might be able to pursue. Wish? So far, no. Rational minds can achieve. My god, does no things. one have like a bachelor red here? I suppose not. Let us sit and discuss terms. We'll keep on looking, though. Discuss matters. Trade and marriage. Oh, it's actually pretty close. I wish I could like influence the vote a little bit more, but let us sit and discuss terms. Evidently not. Okay, Song Wei. We talk frankly but fair. And nothing wrong. We Shin. are listening. Welcome. Let us talk. Okay, what about her? Oh, 41. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, about that. Make it I don't know. Work. We're just going to go Not through the whole again. gambit here. Oh, it is you. Instead of, like, trying to find a Let random wife. Or I wonder if they would, if they've, if they've changed it to this where they'll show you short. everyone that you, you could potentially try to marry. Come, that would be much easier. Talk. I don't think that's in here yet, because I haven't seen a mic myself. I, I'm just, like, saying what I think would make sense. Oh yeah, he hates quickly. me. But he's also really far away, so it doesn't really matter. He's very small, very far away. Get this over with. What do you want? Hung? Right, we're fighting him. Huh? Yeah, no one really has Speak anyone, quickly. so I'm just gonna have to go find my own wife. Look at my big block of power. I could actually just ignore the guys down south and just kind of do my own thing for a long time. So we'll think about it. Yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a like down below. I look forward to more later. And as always, until then.